yeah, we are going to be painting an orc from HeroQuest or Retro with orc flesh contrast paint. And that's the last bottle I will ever open from contrast paints because I really dislike him. But I have to be honest, this one is pretty good. Yes, I am too honest. You know that guy. I'm always too honest for you. What I'm also honest about is that I tend to forget an arm right here. So uh, the watchful eye may have already seen it that I am not busy anymore with the upper body. And what happens is that I forget an arm. Shut the hell up. That's okay. I am allowed to do that because it's my miniature. It's been printed, by the way, on a Sonic Mini from Frozen. Leather brown for the uh, for the robes for his clothing. It's been printing on the. Um, it's been it Jesus. It's been printed on a Sonic Mini from Frozen 3D Printers, and uh, it's just basically a resin miniature uh, built around the uh, retro style and look of um, HeroQuest and some old Hammer miniatures. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's a uh, four. It's it's, it's a two-piece. What is it? It's a three-piece miniatures, and there goes the bottom white again for the shoes. It's a three-piece miniature where the hand, hey there, fly, where the hand, the hand with the axe and the body itself is uh, set. Uh, it looks pretty damn nice, to be honest. I've never liked the orcs, especially not the old ones, but I think this one is really cool. <coughs> oh, Jesus, man, what is this for a kind of conversation with you guys? Something what looks like a pot of mm, chainmail. There you go. Oi with that thing. But at least we're going to paint the uh, metal uh, things with it. So uh, this is basically a speed paint, of course. This is not a quality paint. This is just to show you guys, even the role players, that you can really do some really cool stuff with uh, with a couple of quick paints and just a simple showcase of what you can do with a couple of paints. I am falling in repetition with myself. That's not good. So there we go with the bone white again. And now we are going to fiddle some teeth on that head. As you can see, that's about the only detail we are going to do with the head. Um, I could have done it really uh, a lot better. But I didn't feel like it today because uh, I wanted to make some tutorials for you role players as well. Who actually want to have a mini pretty fast on the table and not spending hours and hours on painting. So this is the magic stuff. Agrax Earthshade is um, uh, painted all over the... What is it? What was it? The leather. Leather. There you go. Yes. Now some off-camera action and also over the shoes because bone white and uh, agrax shade is really good. For the metal parts, we are going to use no oil. Straightforward. Again, this is just a really simple. Uh, paint video for some really cool and great results if you want to have a quick encounter there you go some bone white again oh boy do i love my bone white this is about the third time or fourth time it's already coming on here uh it came on it, it, it already came on the video and uh there's the leather brown again also that is into repetition as you can see we are just using the same colors and colors over and over again this is uh just to keep it from being boring and uh, brightening up the model again with some uh, highlighting drivers on. Now there's a new color, Nihilac Oxide. Yeah, you can put it on the uh, on the metal parts, and uh, also the keen eye also shall halt us here that I forgot something, and uh, let me know in the comments what I forgot. Awesome. Now, with a pen, I'm going to uh, color in the eyes. Uh, why am I not doing this with a pencil or with a brush? That's what I meant to say. Is because I didn't want all the fiddly parts. And once again, this is for you, all you pesky little role players. You know who you are. I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> so here's the um, end result, front and back. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. There you go. May the, may the dice be forever your favor.